I'll tell you what happened moments later. The Korean merchants and store owners who own that shopping complex, they, they were talking to me for a moment. They said they were fed up. They walked away. Next thing I knew, they walked out of their stores. Three of them were holding guns, and they just started firing at everybody and anybody. showing some of this to you live earlier. Then what happened is apparently a car full of some young black kids pulled up on the other side, and they started shooting back. You're going to start to see uh, what, what they noticed what was going on. They started shooting back, and uh, we were right in the middle of it. Uh, it. It all happened so quickly. To tell you the truth, I thought they were blanks at first. I couldn't believe that these guys had actually pulled out loaded guns, but they were. Their bullets flying all over. And here you, here you can see this is where they see the cars pull up, and they start to shoot back. They start to take cover realizing, I think, what they had started there, but uh, there was, there's just a, a simmering point, and they just, they boiled over. I, I saw it happen. I was talking to the gentleman. I saw it in his eyes. He ran away from me. Um, I thought he was going to give me his business card. I had asked for an interview. The next thing I knew, as I say, he came out with those guns. Welcome. With 9-11, just like tomorrow, and um, many of the current events still going on, I figured it'd be kind of fun to kind of go through and look at some of the wonderful things that have come out over the years from the Roof Curries, because they represent everything that I think a lot of... Um, Americans stand for. And also we've had a resurgence of roof Koreans due to riots and such. You've been visited by the rooftop Korean of the middle class. Good luck and dry to control will come to get you, but only if you come and get away from my store, Bracky. <clears throat> then it was a problem, now it's a problem you get more people, you know, doing their thing. You know, what more can one say? There is a 68-year-old Korean wiping off his old dusty firearm. <clears throat> yeah. Again, they was doing it again. How come we haven't gotten that movie? Dear Hollywood, we've waited far too long for a roof Korean movie. You owe us this. This would be amazing, the American dream, defending their livelihood and property. It would be amazing, very amazing. Very, very amazing. And here we have the strata of the Koreans. The north, south, and the roof. I know which ones I want to be with, standing shoulder to shoulder with. Which one do you choose? I, I like the Roof Koreans one. They're pretty good at what they do. They believe in the capitalism too, but the Roof Korean. Roof Korea, best Korea, yes. When they tell you to give up your guns, remind them of the heroic actions of the Los Angeles Roof Koreans of 1992. Also remember more recent events in California buying out on guns whenever possible. This, this is the kind of ad I can get behind. Roof Koreans for hire. Who wouldn't? Much success during LA riots. No looters at our stores. Added bonus, can't be accused of racism, especially if violent mobs are fired upon. We'll provide own ammo, but we'll charge extra for any rounds spent. We all need this in our lives, and you know it. We all know the the Vietnamese, 
and their wondrous things, but when the rooftops start speaking Korean, what do you do then? I wonder. One simply can never have enough roof Korean. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I wish it were bigger, but yes. Slaps roof. This bad boy can hold so many Koreans. I will take your roof. I hope we've all seen this one by now. There are some people that haven't, but I hope most of us have. This is true. Roof Koreans, how civilians defended Koreatown from racist violence during the 1992 LA riots. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were specifically targeting Asian-owned stores in many cases, which is sad, but it happened. And Koreatown, last time I was there, still looked pretty good, so... I mean, they recovered pretty well, they protected pretty well, and they conquered pretty well. Koreatown's still a pretty decently peaceful place, I think. I haven't heard any really any peeps about rights or anything either, but maybe that's because of Roof Koreans too. The sequel. I'm gonna have to sit in this one, this is the best way to see this one. Dating QT Korean GF during Baltimore riots. Dad doesn't really like me because I'm not rich. Eating lunch at her house. Riots on news. Her dad, they need to show these rioters some force. Me? Yeah, these shop owners need to learn from the LA riots and get up on the roof like in Koreatown. He gives me a weird look. Did I just burg out too much pole? I think I just up. He smiles and leaves. Not sure if I messed up. He returns and hands me a beer. He's never done this before. Gives me a hundred bucks after lunch and says, Take my daughter somewhere fancy. Relations have been better with him ever since. Thanks, Rooftop Koreans. You get that nice QT Korean GF? You support Roof Korean? You get QT Korean GF. Bo show and daddy approval. Roof Korean defending storefront from looters, 1992, LA riots, colorized. Not quite Korean enough for me. During 92 LA riots, police and the National Guard couldn't protect everyone from mobs of murderers, arsonists, and looters. Ordinary Americans with guns stopped the rampaging mobs, saving countless innocent lives. The truth? They won't tell you about gun culture. It saves lives. An armed populace is a polite populace. I don't know many um, protests where the right-wingers showed up armed and shot each other, or um, shot other people for that matter. I do remember a few where they did clean up and left the place better than they got to it. I do know of a few unarmed, quote, um, left-wing riots where they left the place trashed, absolutely burnt up, and um, crispy crittered. But, you know, that's like comparing apples to oranges, I guess. Okay, I had to sneak this one in. Kyle is literally a saint. Guys, I'm not even religious, but how can this be anything other than divine intervention? Shoots pedo in the dick. Shoots a burglar in the arm. Shoots a wife strangler in the lungs. Also, the guy who tries to kill him is named Grosskreutz. Literally, Big Cross. That's in German. Kyle literally defeated the cross like Jesus did. Kyle is from Antioch, which was part of the Holy Land in the Crusades. If you Google Saint Kyle, there is a Catholic saint which is also named Kyle that is called Saint Kenosha of Fife. Kenosha, Kenosha. Also, he cleared a malfunction in his gun and shot the burglar in the arm in under two seconds, literally one second before being executed. All while on the ground and whilst turning around, Kyle is a good shot, but that was a literal impossible shot. 
He got the far arm too, but... Furthermore, after defending himself, he gets up and walks away with his back turned towards the evil mob, and no one dares to harm him. Someone was protecting him from above. This can't all be coincidence. So, for any, everyone out there, I hope you have a good, um, 9-11. It's almost been 20 years now, but, um, I don't know, I hope the Roof Koreans help us come together as a nation like we did then, because we really need it right now. Um, but yeah. Um, if you will check out the links in the description, there's subscribe star and that kind of stuff, the Discord, you can open that up. I will see you all later.